trying to finish the end of the year strong with two super rare modern books. If you want to know what these are, stick around and I can't wait to show them. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and cat lovers. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And as you saw in the intro, I have two very rare books. These are modern books, but these are definitely very rare books. And uh, got them for really good prices on eBay. Uh, you guys know me. If you've been following my channel, know that, number one, my cat is going to block the view. <laughs> yeah. You want to be in it? You can be in the back part. But I also get some pretty darn good deals on eBay. Now, these both are very rare books. Not rare as in one of a kind or anything, but definitely a extremely low print run. And I cannot wait to share these with you. All right, they did a good job of packaging this. Like I always tell people, I make sure that I contact the sellers to make sure that they package these to my satisfaction. Squeaky wheel always gets the grease. So this, you could probably see, is a Walking Dead book. But which Walking Dead book is it? If you want to make a guess in the comment section, you are more than welcome to. But let's show you the first book. And this obviously is a graded book. And this is, let me make sure this isn't broken. Hmm, interesting. Because this looks like, I wonder if this is supposed to be like this. But as you can see, and it's still the original comic, so I don't know what to think about that. I don't know if it's cracked or not, or it's supposed to be that way. I don't see any cracks, but this is Walking Dead issue number 100. Let me know, because I haven't had a CBCS book in a while. It looks like this feels loose, but it is a signed book. Doesn't look like it's been tampered with. I think that just might be the way the case is, but it is the book that I'm looking at, and this is uh, Walking Dead issue number 100. This is, as you can see, the uh, Lucille variant, and this was signed by Robert Kirkman. Now, there are there is two different ones. There's a red foil, which is the even rarer one, but this one was limited to 500 of these. Now, I've seen this book unsigned, selling for about between six and $800. It has gone down a little bit recently because of the Walking Dead show, but that's the buying opportunity of a lifetime for a major Walking Dead villain who is, to this day, still relevant in the comic book series. I mean, you're talking, we're, they're at, I think they're at issue 185 or something like that. I forget the number. But this was back in 2012. Six years later, he's still alive. So Negan is a very popular major character in The Walking Dead. TV show kind of tainted that a little bit. But to me, that's a buying opportunity. So I got this one as a steal. So it came. It, it's a 9.2. Uh, it's Walking Dead number 100. The red foil variant is limited to 250. But that book actually is about got the same value as this book. So, um, for the price I paid for this, I couldn't complain about it. Um, but I paid with shipping and handling. I want it for $260.55, which is a great deal. But PayPal actually gave me a $20 coupon that I could use towards any eBay purchase. So, it wasn't something they were given everybody. It was just an individual thank you that they sent me in an email. So I took that and applied it to this. So I only paid $240.55 for this book. And I really think that is a steal for a book that's limited to 500 copies. And many of them are not signed. Now, I've seen Robert Kirkman's signature. So that's no problem. But like I said, this part looked a little weird. 
but it doesn't look like like I can't it's just loose a little bit like it can flex but I can't see this popping off or anything like it, anything is replaced very weird if you have any books like that let me know if that's normal um, put that in the comments section but that is book number one now this second book is probably going to be a little controversial considering a video I made months back but I looked at it this way um, first of all, it's my money. I can spend it any way I want, and my cat agrees. If, if you're going to be in the shot, at least show this end. But um, this, I will tell you, is a Rick and Morty comic. Now, there was a whole situation that was going on with Rick and Morty that made me stop purchasing. I, I actually had every comic of theirs. I still do. I haven't had the. I couldn't get any offers that I want, were willing to trade it for or sell it for. Um, but then I realized I made a bigger thing than it was because, yes, he made a very inappropriate video, but there's a difference between making a video and actually doing something that's bad, like, you know, dealing with children. So um, I am not going to continue my Rick and Morty, but this book, not one dollar of it went to them. So some a friend of mine made a very good point about that, that... You know, none of the money is going to them. I stopped my subscriptions for the Rick and Morty comics, and I will never buy another newer comic, so none of this money goes to them. But this was such a, raw, a, a rare book, and as a matter of fact, the rarest of the Rick and Morty books, that I just did not want to pass it up for the opportunity and the price that I got it for. And um, they were originally going to mail it in this. And you guys know me, I wouldn't have been too thrilled about that. But because I messaged them, they ended up putting it in a box like you saw. So this book, and let me get the cat out of the way, sorry. Uh, this book sells, the cheapest one I've seen sold is $500 and it's unsigned. This is a signed book. So I know I'm going to get some heat, but I look at it this way. Um, there are people that hate me no matter what I do, so if I really have to worry about what haters are going to hate me for, you know, I would never make another video again, so those people will understand. But this is Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It. This is the um, Nerd Block variant, which was recalled. Um, they say this is the lowest print run of all of the Rick and Morty comics. It's a very rare book. And as you can see here, it was signed by Justin Rowland. And I happen to like that guy. Um, you know, he wasn't the one that made the controversial video. Uh, this looks to be in amazing shape. And like I said, you know, like I said, I'll probably get some flack for saying, oh, you know, you said never to buy these books and here I am buying one. Well, you know, like I said, and my, my friends pointed out, you know, I'm not, none of this money went towards them. And, you know, I'm not even going to make excuses. It's my money. I wanted to buy it, and I did. And I'll leave it at that. If somebody wants to hate me for it, you know what? They're going to hate me regardless. So it's just another excuse for them to justify their hatred. And I, I just don't want to deal with that. So this book, the cheapest I've seen this book sell is for about $600 unsigned. And this is a signed book. Didn't spend that. I paid a total of $350 and... 23 cents, I believe. I wrote it too small. So $350 for this book, which is almost about half of what the unsigned version of this book is. I've seen it sell for eight, $900 unsigned. So um, I don't buy... This is the first Rick and Morty comic I've actually bought since that whole controversial video that came out. And like I said, you know, there's a difference between a controversial video of poor taste of comedy than somebody that might have done something inappropriate with an actual child. So, you know, I'm not going to be renewing my subscription to Rick and Morty. I still stand by what I believed in with that. But because of the fact that not one cent goes to them, that's fine with me. So those are the two books. We got Rick and Morty's number one, Pocket Like You Stole It, Nerd Block, Rare Variant, and the Walking Dead 100 Lucille Edition which is limited to 500 copies. Now, I don't know how many uh, this is limited to. And basically, the reason that it was recalled, there wasn't anything controversial because I looked it up. It ended up, 
a company that was called NerdBlock ordered this variant, and before it got shipped to them, um, that company went out of business. So there was nobody to send them to. So they actually got recalled. So it's not like there's anything controversial or anything about it, but it's still a very rare book. So basically, I paid about the same price for either one of these for both. And uh, one day I'll get that one graded. So that's it. Those are the two books. Whether you love them or hate them, I leave that up to you. Uh, I love them. That's why I bought them. I like collecting rare things because especially these days, if you're going to get newer comics with all the 5,000 different variants out there and all the, you know, redos and reprints and, you know, number one issues out there and everything, it's if you're going to get modern books, in my opinion, better to get them the rarer ones. But you collect what you like and you'll never be wrong. So um, leave it the comments in the comment section if you want to thumb it up. I always appreciate it. And also no deals are out there, even on rare books. This is a book, if you could find it cheap, purchase it. Because, like I said, um, this is a key issue. And the first appearance of Negan is not going to stay down forever. I mean, it's a great character, regardless of, you know, how many people may not have liked the rendition of it on the TV show. Still alive and well in the comics, still relevant. And I think this book just has so much more potential. And that's the best time to buy things when most people don't want them. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, you just have to be a subscriber. You can ask for one and that will speed up the process. If you're somebody that's asked for one and has not gotten one yet, please post it in the comment section because the paper that I wrote a bunch of the names down on has somehow disappeared. So um, I don't want to miss have anybody miss out that wanted it. So if, if you have not gotten your surprise subscriber shout out yet, please indicate that in the comment section. Or if you just want one and it's the first time you're writing it, put that also and uh, I will rewrite the list. So I apologize for that, but, you know, poop happens. So thanks for watching. And uh, Kat thought it would make another little Cat Mio appearance. This, is, of course, is Oregon. He loves to just jump right in in the middle of nowhere. And uh, for those who appreciate it, there you go. So thanks for watching, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics, and even the cats who block them. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.